since you brought him up, I feel like there's something there with Bobby Lashley, some some unfinished business that could be settled in WWE at some point. I'm glad you brought that up. Wow, you hit all the good points. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, all of this stuff has happened, and like I've never even thought about going back to WWE, honestly, because and it's not out of anything bitter. It's just you know I had a couple runs there, and it ended the way it did, and I, you know I just realized that my love is for professional wrestling, even if it's not with WWE. But you know, with all everything that I've gone through the last couple of years, and then also seeing Shelton, Carlito, MVP, all my buddies, you know, I finally started, you know, looking at it. And it was more out of this, what you just mentioned. It was more not out of Chris Masters coming back. It was more out of, because I, I remember what, through getting in touch with that young wrestling fan, I remember what, what is it that we're always looking for? We're looking for that oh shit moment, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Like like that Ultimate Warrior comeback at WrestleMania. And it's not to say anything I could do could measure to that, but the Bobby Lashley scenario is fascinating because I haven't been there for so long. Yep. And but everybody knows. Everybody knows that the Hurt Lock is the Master Lock, and that he's the first person to break the Master Lock. Like oh, there's a lot of connections there. I'm kind of, I'm kind of like a ghost from his past at this point. But like. <laughs> I just feel like, you know, in the right scenario, you know, you have Lashley dominating with the Hurt Lock and then you were to hear that OG Chris Masters theme, I feel like. Yeah. And again, this more is, because everybody, you know, I feel like since I've kind of started within last year and this year to petition for the Rumble, again, it's not, as I don't feel like I'm ever coming back to WWE full time. For me, it would just be, it would be great to come back to the Rumble to, you know, sort of make amends with certain people within the company, but also um, to show, like you were saying before, show the WWE universe, the polished performer that I've become. And like, yeah, I wasn't able to do it there, unfortunately, but I did get there. And uh, yeah. so for me, there would be, that would feel good. And like, again, and but the biggest thing being about that oh shit moment of having that moment of me coming the, down the aisle and having like some guy, you know, sitting next to his buddy, slap him in the chest, like, oh my God, it's her lock, master lock, it's gonna happen. Yeah. That's what it's about. So like, it's really not out of a place of selfishness or like, let's make, let's have a Chris <laughs> Masters come back full time. But like, for all those reasons, it would be awesome. What are your thoughts of Bobby Lashley using the hurt lock? People ask me this all the time. I mean, like the thing is, is, if you were to look at the situation and you see that Bobby Lashley was the one to break it, mm -hmm. um, it only makes sense for him, if with me not being there, to kind of be the guy to adopt it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it doesn't change the fact that the master lock is the OG. And I know a lot of people are going to bring up Hercules and Ken Patera, but we're talking about in the modern era, ladies and gentlemen. Sure, yeah. So, I mean... I think Hurt Lock, Master Lock would still be uh, kind of interesting. But, like, you know, it only makes sense for Bobby. I've never came out on, like, some dirt sheets and buried Bobby. And, like, here's the thing. Think about this. I mean, from my standpoint, would you rather have Bobby Lashley adopt it or some guy maybe that they push for a month who doesn't even amount? I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, it's just one of those things where – Yeah, if someone's going to use that move, Bobby Lash is a pretty good person to be using that move. Well, yeah, and I've seen – you know, you've seen certain wrestlers throughout history Well, after they've worked somebody will kind of adopt some. Like, you've seen HBK do that a number of times. You know what I mean? Like, after he worked uh, – Benoit, I think he used the cross face. Not, it, I know that's taboo to even bring up, but like, you know, like, so it only makes sense. And then him being the guy to break the master lock again, it just, and like, he's such a physical specimen. Like, Absolutely. like so with all that being said, you can't really argue like, okay, if somebody's knew the full, full Nelson, he broke it. He looks the way he does. Yeah. He's uh, like a mutant. <laughs> I, I can't believe that he still looks this way too. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And like, he looks, yeah. he's looked the same for 20 years. <laughs> yeah, right. Like, it's like he hasn't even aged a day. And I, I remember him from OVW too. Like, so I've known him since way back. He then. was my very first wrestling interview in January of 2007. How'd that go? I mean, it's a little quiet. It's <laughs> it's on YouTube. I wasn't very good either back then. It's on YouTube if people want to check it out. Isn't it funny it. watching your old stuff? Yeah, you're probably just like, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, it's the same for you. Like, if oh, you're yeah. not watching your old stuff and you're cringing a little bit, you're not heading in the right direction. Oh, I told you, I spent 15 years cringing. Jeez, yes. like I finally able to actually watch it. Thank like God. even if even stuff from like six months ago, I'm looking at going, why did I ask it like that? Like, what am I? Why? 
what am I doing? Hey, hey, Constantly hey. trying to push yourself and be better. 